Welcome back to the Kernel Talk channel. In this episode about materials in watchmaking, I will talk about titanium. Stay tuned. Titanium is also a very popular material to make watch cases and bracelets and it have a lot of advantages against the stainless steel. One of the advantages is the fact that it's very light because it have a, a density of 4.5 grams per cubic centimeters which makes it more or less 6% lighter than the steel. It's also not allergenic, not magnetic and very resistant to corrosion. It's basically uh, almost impossible to corrode in normal use. Another not very important advantage of the titanium, but it's it's also a different a different uh, characteristic compared to the steel, is that titanium have a lower um, thermal conductivity, which makes it uh, feel uh, less cold when in contact with the skin so when you pick up a titanium watch and put it on your wrist it feels warmer than the, the steel of course that it's it's on the on the same temperature of everything else that is in the room but because of the lower conduct thermal conductivity it feels warmer uh, against the touch of the skin the titanium have in general, better mechanical characteristics compared to the steel. When you talk about mechanical characteristics, it can be uh, a lot of different characteristics, like the resistance to bending, the resistance to compression, the resistance to stretching, and also the resistance to scratches, which is the hardness. In technical, very technical terms, hardness uh, means exactly the resistance of the resistance of a material against scratches. Okay, uh, I know that hardness have a general a general meaning to the public that it's just a, a more resistance material in general, in general. But uh, actually, uh, hardness is only the resistance against scratches. And actually, the titanium used in watches is not very resistant to to scratches. It uh, depending on the on the grade of titanium used, it can be as low as 180 vikers, which means it's 30 30 percent softer than the usual 316 L stainless steel, which in practice means that. Titanium watches scratches more easily in use. If you have a titanium watch, you probably noticed that. One interesting thing about the titanium is that not all consumers know exactly what are the advantages or the characteristics of the material. But they still like uh, because of the appeal of uh, high-tech material. You know, because the origins of the titanium in industrial use it comes from the automobilism, you know, car racing, and also the aeronautical industry. So this this still have a, a big appeal to the consumer, uh, even though he doesn't know exactly what are the the advantages of. Uh, of the titanium on the watches. Another thing that is uh, very debatable is who's the first. Everybody have its own version of who who was the first to make this or that. And I remember that a lot of written material about this says that the IWC was the first to make uh, a watch entirely made of titanium in 1980 if not mistaken but like everybody knows the classic Seiko divers professional 600 meters also known as 
tuna. It, it, it's called like that because uh, it's a very big, hefty watch. And the, the shape of the case remembers a tuna can. Uh, that's why it have uh, this nickname. Uh, all around the world, people know this model as tuna. And the original tuna with the caliber 6159, it have a, a case entirely made of titanium. And it was launched in 1975. Uh, the reason Seiko chose to make this watch in titanium is first because it was a professional diving watch, which will have a very severe use in a marine environment, which is salty water and uh, lack of care because it, it, it's supposed to be a two watch. And also the fact that it's a very big watch, so making it in titanium makes it more comfortable to use because it's lighter. One very important thing to, to know is that there are basically two kinds of titanium used in watchmaking. Uh, one is the titanium grade 2 and the other one is the titanium grade 5. The grade 5 titanium is... Um, more or less a new thing in watchmaking. They started using this, this titanium in mid 2000s, it, which means 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, and it have a, the basic difference is that it have a better appearance because uh, it, it allows you to have a, a perfectly polished surfaces. I mean, polished like, like a mirror very shiny surfaces while the grade 2 doesn't allow this because it's it's a different composition the titanium grade 2 falls in the category of the commercially pure titanium which means that it's actually almost 100 percent titanium it's a pure titanium the grade 2 titanium have a more grayish appearance Titanium watches became more popular during the 90s and they were all made of grade 2 titanium. That's why they have that, uh, that very characteristic grayish appearance. And they are either sandblasted or satin finished. The grade 5 titanium have a less grayish appearance. It looks more like the stainless steel. Uh, actually, at a glance, you you can't say if it's uh, st steel or grade five titanium, uh, but it's still not it's not as bright as the the steel, but not as grayish as the grade two titanium. Grade five titanium is also known as Ti six Al four V because it have six percent of aluminum and four percent of vanadium in its composition and that's exactly the the components that give the the alloy that's a very important thing the grade five it's an alloy it's not pure titanium and these components it's what gives the different mechanical characteristics the the grade 5 titanium is actually much sturdier than than the grade 2 and much sturdier than the steel uh, that's why grade 5 titanium is used uh, broadly on the aeronautical industry in engines and other parts of of the aircrafts but still the grade 5 is not very resistant to scratches so um, despite being a very sturdy material in general, it still scratch, scratches um, kind of easily during the normal use of the watch. And that's it. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something new from this video. Don't forget to give your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't yet. And invite your friends to join the channel. Take care. Keep watching. And... Until next time.